Now, a lot of the movies that I'm reviewing this year for October Horrorathon come from like the 80s, and in some cases the 70s. Uh, here's one from the 90s. Ticks. Yeah, Tix is a movie from 1993. It is a direct-to-video horror monster movie uh, starring Seth Green, uh, Peter Scolari, also Alfonso Ribeiro, uh, you know, Carlton from Fresh Prince. Anyway, those guys are all in it. It's about a group of troubled teens that are taking on this retreat to the woods uh, up in the mountains in California. They stay at a cabin and they are soon harassed by giant mutated ticks who basically are mutated by steroid infused marijuana plants or the runoff from said plants yeah there's clint howard is out there he's grown weed out in the his facility out in the woods somewhere he's using this whatever strange concoction to make his weed grow bigger and the runoff from that gets absorbed by these ticks and they grow to monster size like I guess like the size of your head get really aggressive and they attack these teenagers and that's basically that's the movie okay I found it a little boring but I did kinda like the uh, the tick effects like the giant ticks they look pretty funny they're kinda rubbery puppet looking things uh, and they skitter across the floor and I guess there's somebody off screen like throwing them in the actors faces and stuff and I thought that was pretty hilarious I don't think this movie takes itself too seriously but some of the acting is super cheesy like um, uh, Seth Green not his greatest moment here I mean you know still a young actor at this point uh, I mean the guy looks like he's 12 still then you get Peter Scolari from Newhart of course uh, also, Bosom Buddies, uh, way back in the day that I reviewed uh, here on this very channel. Yeah, he's alright. He's the straight man. He doesn't really do anything in there. He doesn't have a whole lot to do with the plot, other than he's the guy that organizes the trip to help all these uh, troubled inner-city teens. Um, another one of which is Alfonso Rivero. I hope I'm saying his name right. Um, but you know who I mean. Carlton from Fresh Prince. Now, I never really watched that show very much, but you can't not recognize this guy from that meme, the dancing meme, you know? Like, I can't dance like Carlton, but it's a thing, right? Uh, he plays a completely different kind of character in this because he's, like, supposed to be this badass. He uh, carries a switchblade around all the time, and he's, like, threatening people with it, and he really bullies, like, Seth Green's character a lot, and meanwhile, he's just trying to to be friends and connect with people and eh, it's fucking stupid um i mean his acting is pretty extreme uh and he's kind of over the top and it's hard to take him seriously as a bad guy because all i can think of is that stupid dance it's not really a bad guy he's supposed to be, he's just misunderstood um but spoiler alert he dies in the end and it's the best death of the whole movie because he gets infested with ticks and a giant one, like much, much bigger than the rest of them, like bursts forth out of his corpse. That was the best part of the movie, and it happens in like the last minute of the movie. But yeah, actually, the best guy, best actor in this whole movie, I think, is Clint Howard. Uh, you know, uh, Ron Howard's younger brother always plays like a weirdo in every movie that he's in. This guy's in everything, and he, you know, brings it all to the table in this one, and he's like the crazy weed farmer that. Uh, uh, accidentally creates these mutant ticks in the beginning and uh, but then he gets eaten by ticks and you know game over man but uh, yeah overall it's it's pretty stupid um, but I think it's meant to be pretty stupid you're not supposed to take this serious you're just supposed to laugh at the you know people with giant uh, giant rubber bugs on their face and a good bit of blood in it and like, it's not a bad movie. Like, it's by no means so bad that it's funny. Uh, but it is kind of funny. Uh, and there is some, a lot of bad stuff in it. But there's some good stuff in there, too. But nothing really good. Nothing to lift this above, like, say... Oh, I don't know, a C+. Like, it's a movie. It's there. 
I mean, it's a direct-to-video horror monster movie from 1993. Uh, it's really all I need to say, and then you probably got a picture in your mind of what that is like, and it's exactly like that. There are no surprises here. I mean, even the tick bursting forth out of Carlton's stomach, that wasn't surprising. But yeah, it, you know, it's light entertainment. Now stick around, because I think I'm going to have a few more movies in October for the October Horror Fest. Uh, we'll see how many more we get a chance to get around to. But until next time, have a good one, everybody.